This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 10. Illinois Second Amendment advocates celebrating tonight after a judge put a temporary hold on the state's new assault weapons ban. Gun retailers say the law created serious hardship for their business. WGN's Jenna Barnes joins us now with details on what could happen next. Well, I talked to a gun store owner tonight who told me he is selling guns today that he was not allowed to sell yesterday, all because of this temporary injunction blocking the enforcement of the state's assault weapons ban. Gun rights groups say Illinois' assault weapons ban has caused irreparable harm for gun owners and gun stores. We've got members whose businesses are down 60, 70 percent. Uh, you know, no business can survive that for very long. They're now celebrating a downstate federal judge's ruling that has temporarily blocked the enforcement of the ban. Judge Stephen McGlynn writing, can the senseless crimes of a relative few be so despicable to justify the infringement of the constitutional rights of law-abiding individuals in hopes that such crimes will then abate or at least not be as horrific? The simple answer at this stage in the proceedings is likely no. He issued a temporary injunction and gun store owners say that reopened for business the assault style weapons and high capacity magazines the Protecting Illinois Communities Act banned. It's great to be able to get all of this product back on the shelves for people, uh, for people to buy. Dan Eldridge owns Max and Shooter Supplies in Des Plaines. Our online business has been robust. Our, our in-store business has been robust this afternoon. Word spreads quickly. But though this judge in the Southern District issued an injunction, two judges in the Chicago-based Northern District and the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals have all rejected similar attempts to block the law, leaving those who work to pass it optimistic. A spokesman for Governor J.B. Pritzker saying in a statement, the administration is confident that as the case continues, this critical public safety law will ultimately be upheld as constitutional. This injunction is in place until a lawsuit over the assault weapons ban can be decided in the courts. But Attorney General Kwame Rowell's office says he will appeal this injunction ruling. Okay, we'll see what the timeline will be on that. Yes. Jenna, thank you.